Good morning, this is Dr. Lee with another Dermpath Made Easy lesson. So this lesion here is Pityriasis lichenoides chronica. Uh, Pityriasis lichenoides chronica, well, let's start by discussing what does Pityriasis mean. And, and this term <coughs> was actually first characterized by Hippocrates, the original grandfather of, of medicine. And he described this as the scruffy appearance of the skin that uh, <coughs> that looked like it was covered by the fine bran or grain <coughs> called pitreon. So, <coughs> so that so the thing that he's talking about is the descri description of the type of scale that we see here. This lesion is typically biopsied um, to rule out <coughs> uh, guttate psoriasis, uh, numular dermatitis, um, or even pityriasis rosea. So let's take a look at what pityriasis lichenoides. <coughs> uh, looks like clinically. And you can see here from this website, DermNet, great group in uh, New Zealand, you can see that there are multiple papules that are pretty scaly, um, and they're sort of discrete papules. Sometimes you'll be a little, little may see some kind of uh, crust or, or uh, heme crust. That's because this lesion is often confused with uh, psoriasis or even some sorts of vasculitis. Let's come back. Okay, so the way you make this diagnosis is you can see that the inflammation is all up here in, in the superficial per perivascular region. And if you come up higher, you'll see that there's actually a good bit of uh, lichenoid change at, at the interface. And in fact, it's, it's more, instead of lichenoid, it's more vacuolar than lichenoid. So the difference, I mean, essentially they're the same process, lichenoid and vacuolar, but the way I think about it is that lichenoid change is where it's much denser than this, uh, where the lymphocytes are so dense that it obscures the dermal junction. But here you can see that it's really just coming up and it's causing uh, what we see here, basovacular damage. You can see the lymphocytes essentially tagging the dermal epidermal junction right there. And another clue to this is that if you look up close, you can see that we have a bunch of uh, melanin dropout in the dermis. And this, this is caused because the lymphocytes come up here and they, and they damage the dermal epidermal junction. And over time, melanin drops out and collects around blood vessels and then that, that gets taken over to, to the lymph node. And while it's not so obvious on this biopsy, but if there was a broader shave, you would be able to see that the inflammation at the DEJ corresponds almost perfectly with the scale. So you, you have scale here that spans from essentially from one end of the biopsy to the other. But if this was a broader shave, you would, you, you know, you would certainly be able to see that once that scale stops, the inflammation stops. It's not so obvious here. But again, the way to make th this diagnosis is you have a uh, perivascular and vacuolar process at the dermal epidermal junction. It's clinically, you see multiple scaly papules. And when you come up to higher power, you can see that the lymphocytes are tagging the DEJ, causing uh, red cell extravasation, which isn't so obvious in this biopsy, dyskeratoses in the epidermis, and then this characteristic uh, scale, which is pityriasiform. Thanks guys, if uh, this has helped you at all, please like and subscribe. I typically post a video every single day and also share it with anybody else that you th may think would find this useful. Thanks again, see you tomorrow.